What? Oh. Hey, I'm Jason and I am a member of the CrossFit Freestyle Tribe. Uh, the new box which will be opening up in Newbury from May. Uh, it'll be towards the Newbury Town Centre. Uh, kind of hopped over the clock tower uh, if you can jump that high and of course even run around the building quick enough to get there. Uh, you'll be doing plenty of that by the way if you uh, uh, take up the membership there because people clearly have got nothing better to do than cause other people pain by having to run. I mean, who does that? Anyway, I thought I would take you through um, some of the piece of equipment you might find uh, in the box. Um, I am limited to what I have here at the moment in my garage, um, but I do have some of those pieces of equipment that you might come across. And we'll also come across uh, some acronyms. Uh, these are some crazy words and letters that nobody understands, um, but you'll see them written up on a chalkboard. Or a whiteboard like the one just behind me. So um, let's start. Let, let's see what we can find. So uh, just over here, we have got a um, weightlifting pole. Uh, what? A barbell. It's a barbell. It's a barbell. I've no idea why it's not shaped like a bar. No, it is shaped like a bar. It's just not shaped like a bell. Uh, this is the um, piece of equipment. Uh, that you will put um, bumper plates onto. We'll cover that in a minute. Um, these can either be five foot, six foot, seven foot. Uh, generally, they tend to be uh, 15 kilo bars like the one I have in my hand here, which tends to be for the ladies. Uh, and then we have 20 kilo bars, which is a bit like the one behind me. They're a seven foot bar. Uh, and those tend to be used by the gentleman of the box. Now, I still don't know why they're called bells, but weirdly enough, what we do have is something that is called a kettlebell. Now I'm gonna flip the camera around for this one. Or not, because I clearly don't know how to use it. This is a kettlebell. Now it looks more like a kettlebell. No, it is a kettlebell. It looks more like a bell. These vary in weight. Now they can go from a kilo up to about 30 something if you're crazy. I believe even 50 kilos um, can be had if you really wanted to. But I would imagine in your local box, they will tend to be probably up to about 30 kilos. Now, you can do things like swing them. I think that's it. Just swinging them. Um, no, apparently there are other things that you can do with them apart from swinging them. Um, you, you can swing them above your head. Row, so you can row with them. Um, you, you can pull them up like this, like a sumo high pull. We'll cover that one in a bit. Um, and you can do other things with them. I... I I'm sure somebody will tell you. Um, what else have we got? Well, there is one amazing piece of uh, uh, torturous equipment that you will get used to, and that is the plyo box. Now, this particular bad boy is padded slightly. Most of them tend to be made out of wood. A little bit like my homemade version here, which will definitely take all of the skin off your legs. Um, the idea here is that you can step up onto them, you can jump up on them, you can jump over them. Some people even do crazy things like burpee box overs. Again, one of those things that you might not understand, but again, something invented by somebody that is just ridiculously crazy and maybe slightly pointless. And once you do a burpee, you'll understand why. Aside from the box, we've also got really cool equipment, which I absolutely love, which is the rower. Now this is a Concept 2 rower. This is what you will commonly find in your box. Uh, and this is a, again a uh, piece of equipment for torture. Uh, it's to ensure that you know how to row 100 meters really fast uh, or a thousand to two meters very fast uh, and wonder why you took up CrossFit in the first place as you lie there on the floor trying to get some form of oxygen back into your body. 
Now, outside of that, you'll have other things like uh, ski ergs. Erg. Strange word. Um, it's a bit like the rower, except you kind of pull it down from above you. Uh, and then you'll have uh, the assault bike. That is um, a very, very strange piece of equipment invented by somebody that clearly doesn't like other people. Um, you also have things like sandbags, warbles, warbles. Now there's an invention. Uh, we do have one just down here. Now that's basically a big leather ball that weighs anywhere between three and 20 kilos, which you will basically throw above your head to a target, catch it into a squat, only to stand up again and throw it above your head. And again, some crazy individual thought that was an idea to do that more than once. Um, weirdly enough, they start to pair those kind of things up with things like rowing a thousand meters and then doing 20 or 30 wall balls straight back onto the rower again. You'll get the gist. This stuff's uh, built to make you fit and healthy and strong. So, the whiteboard. This is a uh, fantastic piece of equipment um, created by coaches all around the world. It's probably 3M. Um, and on here, you'll basically find out what your workout of the day is going to be. Now, you will start to see some acronyms. And one of those will be this bad boy, which is EMOM. Or mommy, if you're reading it backwards. Uh, and EMOM is every minute on the minute you will do some form of work. It's a few minutes sometimes. It can be up to 20, 30 minutes sometimes. And then after that, we have another one, which is am rap or parma. Parma. Uh, an am rap is basically as many reps as possible. So there'll be a time limit of, say, 15 minutes. You will have a workout and you will have to do as many rounds or as many repetitions of that particular workout as you can in the prescribed time. Talking of prescription, you have something called Rx. Now, if a workout is Rx, then that means that you need to do the prescribed workout in the prescribed way at the prescribed weight. Anything other than that, if you change the weight or the way that you do it, can be known as scaled. That means that you can basically make it a lot easier to do the workout, cheat a little bit, feel much better afterwards. Sorry, it's not easier. Oh, apparently it's just as hard, but you can't do some of the stuff. And then we've got something called foundation. Now, foundation is... For those people that are new to CrossFit, I mean, what does that say? No, Daffa, no. Um, that's for those new people to CrossFit. Uh, so it's basically taking the RX and the scaled version and making it even easier to do the workout so you can go home and feel like you've accomplished something for the day and that you've actually smashed it for the week. And then we've got other things like uh, some of my favourites. What's this one? The BMU. Or the umb bar muscle up. Then we got DUS, double unders with a skipping rope. Or SUS, single unders. And then we have OHS, overhead squat. This goes on. There are a lot of acronyms in this uh, particular sport, all of which you will probably never get used to and have to ask the coach to explain it 27 times while they're still at the whiteboard. And you've paid no attention because your mate's talking to you. And that's generally probably more interesting than what's about to happen. Because you know full well that in the next 15 minutes, you're going to feel like death. But you're going to tell yourself that the rest of the day is going to be incredible. So it will be. No, apparently it will be. You'll feel incredible, uh, invigorated, um, and amazing for the rest of the day. Which kind of takes me on to uh, CrossFit Free Soul. Believe, be empowered, be more. That's going to be the motto. I mean, it's probably back to front, so I have no idea what that's actually going to say. Um, so those are a few little bits and pieces and tips and 
Well, there weren't any tips because um, apparently I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things you can expect when you join the box. Um, have a fantastic weekend. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all at the box and to becoming part of the CrossFit Free Soul Tribe.